So my name is Darren O'Brien, and I am now currently the director of coffee and production at TaylorMade Farms Organic Coffee in Sebastopol. We are 100% certified organic coffee. Always have been for the 23 years we've been in business. Um, I'm born and raised in Calistoga, California. I got a job at the Calistoga Roastery just as a barista working the food line. Got asked to become a roaster and kind of just went with it. Now it's led me into a leadership position here. Then once I became a coffee roaster, I really started to feel ownership of what I was doing. And it took me a couple of years of working as a support roaster, but eventually I was given the director of production in coffee. And now I'm in charge. So one of the things that made me fall in love with coffee was learning about all the differences there actually are in coffee. Um, everything from the different regions of the world having different characteristics to the different processes. But actually it's the processes that offer more variety in the bean. So currently at TaylorMade Farms we offer two single origin coffees every quarter and right now for our summer release we actually had a wash coffee and a natural coffee so now we're going to go into tasting those two coffees so that you can see the difference between the two. So today we have the two single origin coffees from TaylorMade Farms. We have the Honduras Las Capucas and the Brazil Floresta. The Las Capucas is a low fermented washed coffee and the Brazil Floresta is a natural process which is very high fermentation so the coffee cherries are picked off the plant and laid on a bed, a patio, and they're dried in the sun and the bean is individually fermented within the coffee cherry. The variation in natural processed coffees from cherry to cherry leads to variation in your roast. So that's why natural processed coffees aren't used as much because washed coffees are a lot more consistent and have a lot cleaner cut. Here at TaylorMade Farms, um, we like to have variety and we also like to educate our customers and our employees in the different methods used around the world to process coffee. So we like to bring in coffees for the single origin program that highlight the differences. And we also like to use natural processed coffees in some of our blends to bring out sweetness. We break the crust and all the grounds sink down to the bottom. And that's when all the gases are released and you smell. And you have to get really close so you go. So all the grounds just sink down to the bottom. Whoa, it has like more of a berry, sweet berry yeah. smell to it. That's crazy. That's awesome. And this, this is, is the high fermented, yeah. less control. This is more control. Okay. You can even see it in just the bean alone. So, this is the Las Capucas. This is the washed coffee. It's very clean and even roasted. And this is the Brazil Floresta the natural process. As you can see, there are a lot of lighter beans, some darker. That is because of the different sugar contents of the beans, they roast it up slightly differently. How so basically what we do is just get a little in there. We'll Why do you it. slurp it like that? So it sprays the coffee across the roof of your mouth okay. and across your tongue and everything. So it hits all the points of your tongue. Is it really hot? No, it's actually really nice. Really. <laughs> so the reason why you do multiple cups in these two is to see if there's any variation to oh, find defects. Uh, usually we would do three to five cups. 
So in the Brazil, you'll get oh. definitely more of a berry, mm -hmm. almost whiny. Yeah. Um, characteristic. That's totally good, man. Um, sometimes it I... It tastes like blueberry pie. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> now I want dessert. 